Okay, my name is Leslie Bainbridge. I'm from the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, uh, in Canada. And our task was to look at assessment of a collaborative leader, uh, the challenges to that, and the potential solutions. So I will miss out some of the conversation, I'm sure, because it's a time, a time crunch here, but I'll highlight some of the, uh, some of the responses. Uh, one of the challenges was lack of recognition of collaborative leadership as a legitimate form of leadership and a solution may be matrix models of organizational structure or other structures that would create a value for collaborative leadership. Another was that groups may not be ready for collaborative leadership and therefore not able to assess a collaborative leader. Solution might be preparing groups more effectively for collaborative leadership. Uh, that kind of leads to the next challenge because in order to do that you would need a framework and a good clear definition for what collaborative leadership looks like. And so that came up several times. If there, if there is no framework, no definition, no metrics for assessing a collaborative leader, that's a challenge. And so the solution obviously is to develop those, but to let develop those collaboratively. Um, another comment was that uh, we all carry a vision of, of a leadership in our, in our minds and we may not all have the same vision of what collaborative leadership looks like. So unpacking that and enabling that to feed into the, the metrics may help. Um, the lack of value for collaborative leadership and in the last group there was an interesting discussion around uh, the inability to or perhaps difficulty in measuring the outcomes of a collaborative leader in a system where those outcomes that are valued may be different than the outcomes that would be achieved by a collaborative leader. Um, the other thing was a difference, differentiation between roles and, uh, and approaches. So for example, uh, a team could be uh, composed of collaborative leaders because that role shifts, but they may not be the team leader. So how do we distinguish between the team leader in order to assess them and a collaborative leader in order to assess them? Um, also, the, we're, the challenges in teaching students about collaborative leadership, so when they get out there and practice, and we talked about, I think it was safe pods, I'm not sure if I caught that correctly, but contextualizing collaborative leadership for students so that we have leaders as they go forward who understand the concept of collaborative leadership. Um, and uh, another one was the, uh, the importance of looking at the time frame for assessment. For a collaborative leader, it would be hard to pop in and just do a one shot snapshot of their collaborative leadership. It would need to be done over time and to see the process of collaborative leadership unfold. And then an interesting one was making a convincing case for collaborative leadership, but the solution is creating that, con that, uh, that convincing case. And in order to do the assessment, looking to best practices and linking those to outcomes so that you could come back and assess the collaborative leader. I think I'll I think have that's you wrap it. up. Thank you, uh, Leslie. And in fact, uh, Moving on to what you will see is the theme of the uh, Canadian collaborative uh, uh, research that we're doing is on collaborative leadership. So table two took this question to the next level. Over to Maria.